ハトが三百万。Hey there, my name is Duck, and welcome to my face. Today, I'm going to be seeing W24 in Seoul, which is so exciting.、Um, I actually had this Seoul trip planned already before they announced their Rainbow concert. Not tour, just their Rainbow concerts,、um, and one of the dates lined up perfectly with my dates. So. Today is、uh, the blue day, so I have some blue pants. Sorry, ignore the absolute mess that is my Airbnb.、Um, I am so excited. I'm hoping that they let me in because the tickets are NFT tickets, which I hate.、Um, like fuck NFTs. But the tickets are NFT tickets, and I didn't like. I haven't. I wasn't able to send them over to like the right wallet or whatever the fuck that meant. I didn't understand. I like I tried to look, and they were like, "Oh, you have to like buy cryptocurrency to like send it over to the wallet," and I'm not doing that.、Um, I wouldn't know where to begin anyway. But also, I'm not I'm not gonna buy cryptocurrency for anything. So like the NFT was too far. Like, nah. So hopefully they let me in. <laughs> I'm hoping I can just be like, "Oh, I didn't understand. I'm so sorry," because I didn't. So fingers crossed they let me in.、Um, And we'll see, but I am super excited.、Um, it makes sense that like the first K band I saw in the UK is the first K band I see in Seoul. So let's go.
또 영국에서 오신 분들이 또 계세요. 맞아요. 여기 마이크 하나 좀 드릴까요? 아, 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 
진짜 강력하다. 아니, 이렇게 <웃음> 노래도 많고, 말도 많죠. 드럼도 빡세죠. 기타도 빡세죠. 아주 그냥 난리가 납니다. 차잖아요. 진짜 평안하게 여러분들과 함께 매번 만나면서 좋은 순간들만 남길 그런 빠르게 되도록 하겠습니다. 여러분들 너무 고맙습니다. 제가 한 말씀 해도 되나요? 네, 마지막으로 마무리하시면 됩니다. 네, 새천년 새 시대를 맞이한 우리 에브리 전사들 앞으로도 잘 부탁드리고 사랑합니다. 
아, 아 누가 그럴 수도 있겠다 지금은 
play, don't you? Can you smell my cats? <laughs> Hold on, super quick, you might not remember. Did you read my book? Oh yes, I did. I did. Yes. <laughs> it's cool, it's cool, yeah, no, it's cool. I remember. I just... it, it was the pictures with the... Uh... The dog and... Yeah, stuff. yeah. No, I remember, okay. I remember. I just, thank I... you for helping make my dream come true. I know. Oh. So, I just wanted to say thank when you. When, I read, when you gave it to me and when mm -hmm. I started reading it, I was like, wow, I can't believe this person. <laughs> did, you, did you... Yeah, like... I drew everything yeah. and I like, I wrote everything. Yeah. Okay, I'm back at my hotel. That was so good. That was so good. I don't even, I don't even know. Um, sorry about like my red hair. Like I got really like my face just got chapped in the wind on the way back. Um, but that was so good. Like as soon as Yunsu, like okay, I'll just get straight into it. Like the entire day, I like cafe hopped because like in the area because um, I was going to the Sanrio cafe anyway, which will be in another vlog, I'll like, link it up there. There's gonna be like three vlogs from like this entire trip. Um, so I was like, went to Sanrio cafe, but in the UK, I just, I've been going to gigs since I was like 13, 14. And like the usual gig culture is you get there as early as possible to hang out with your friends, basically, and make sure you get barrier. Um, so I turned up at like, after the Sanrio Cafe, because I opened at 12, I got there at 1, no one was there. So I was like, okay, I'll just cafe, I'll just go to a cafe. I'll like come back in an hour, I'm sure people will be there by 2, because the show started at 5. So I was like, I'm sure people will be there by 2, I'm like just so, queuing is in my blood. <laughs> like, my whole routine is just, you go there early so you can like hang out with your friends for the entire day while also queuing, like it's fun. Um, but no one was there at two, went to another cafe for another hour, no one was there at three, went to another cafe. Um, and then like I got there around four, um, because they had a sign that was like ticketing is at four, so I got there at like five to four, and thankfully there were like a few people like there and stuff. Uh, the venue also had a cat who was like very playful, um, and did not want to be like bothered unless it was to be played with, which I get it. Um, but yeah, so then we got in, um, I actually met someone, uh, Lilith, hi bestie if you see this, um, who I met very, very briefly during the UK tour last year, so that was super nice to like meet a familiar face, like that was real fun, um, and then we went in, uh, we got front row seats, John Gill was actually like in there, um, for some reason, so like I managed to get a picture and stuff, um, he did not remember me, but that's fine. I honestly, I didn't expect like any of them to remember me because like, I'm not like, I mean, everyone's like, oh, like all my friends, but like they'll at least recognize your hair because it's, you know, it's kind of, it looks quite dull in this light, but it's it's, it's quite bright. Um, but I, I wasn't expecting it. Like, honestly, I was a little embarrassed because I treat UK gigs like, I don't treat them like K-pop concerts, I treat them like a regular gig. So like, I go crazy, I like, I put my arm up, I like, I jump around, I like, scream along with the lyrics, you know, like, I do like, emo, alt show etiquette, you know what I mean? Um, I didn't do it for like, because it's a UK show, but with this show I was like, no, you know, um, it was a seated show, so I was like, I'm gonna be chill, I'm gonna be you know, so I wasn't sure if I wanted them to remember me considering I was like, gig me is a different person. I'm like feral when I go to gigs. Um, so I was like, mm, don't really want to. Um, but last time I did give her one my book, which if you'll see the clip, um, I'll get into it. But um, so John Gill didn't recognize me. So I was a bit like, Phew. um, because they recognized my friend Charlie um, when she went to like another show sometime, whatever. But um yeah, I was like, whew. But then, as soon as Yunsu and Hoan got on stage, Yunsu immediately looked at me and went, ooh. <laughs> I was like, and I was like, hi. <laughs> so, I guess, yeah. Yeah. Um, but, like, the entire, it was just so good. And then, like, Hoan pointed um, me and Lilith out, and we were like, oh, we actually have, like, people from the UK here. Um, which was so... Ah, so exciting, um, but the entire show was fucking great. They did the Go My Way cover again, which is like my favorite cover of theirs because it's like, it's such a like a heavy, fun song to like lose your shit to. Um, so they did that 
Um, and while they did that, um, for like, again, I wasn't, obviously during the show, I wasn't going crazy. Um, because we were seated, we were seated for most of it, and like, there was a couple songs towards the end where he, um, everyone, like, he was like, stand up, everyone get up. And um, but the entire time I was just like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, um, and I think once again, how on matched the energy. He was like, yeah, you've brung it again. Good for you. <laughs> Cause he like, he's a hype, like he's hyper on stage like he's like jumping around like running on the spot so like i didn't like put my arm for anything like i, I but i was like i was just like yeah yeah doing like a little bit of the headbang you know like just chill in the seat headbang but like we'd make eye contact and he'd be like yeah you, you've brought that energy again and i was like i have I, I can't help it um but like they put john gill in like i know it's like I kept pulling it sound jail <laughs> because it's like obviously it's like it like drums you need to like soundproof it but he was just in the corner in sound jail which was like real sad because like I feel like during shows and stuff he's so like interactive and extroverted so having him behind plastic was just real sad but he was still fucking great um Yunsu absolutely came for me absolutely came for me because I was like right in front of him absolutely came for him like came for me with his skills and his like expressions like he's so full of expressions and like the entire like a lot of it was just like while he was playing like while he was playing so cute but also like absolutely incredibly talented like immaculate and um how on how on's just very good with eye contact it's terrifying like he 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 will make sure to look you in the eye if you're there like that's just his thing I finally got my Earl Grey tea bags in my luggage. I'm so happy. Um, but yeah, it was so, so good. They opened with Soul for Me Rideau, which is my fave. So that was for me. It wasn't, but like, it was for me. Um, and then, yeah, it was just so good. They did like a couple covers. It was really interesting. Um, and then like, like I said, like we were seated for most of it, but there was like a couple of like the higher tension songs where he like got us to stand up and jump. Um, <laughs> so I, I did jump a little bit. I was reserved, but I did jump a little bit. Um, <laughs> no, not many other people were though. I think like there was a few at the back, there was like a really loud group behind and I was like, you guys are bringing the fucking energy. Let's fucking go. Like during the entire thing, they'd be like, whoa, whoa. And like, I think... I am I'm trying so hard to learn Korean. It's not going well. It just does not stick in my brain. But I swear Ho Won was mentioning that he was like happy that like this crowd was like high attention. Um because we were like I was whooping. I was like when like you clap, I was like clapping like here. Because obviously I didn't I didn't want to do it like up here like I, I would normally because I, I knew people were filming and stuff, but I was just like I will I will make I will I will show you that I'm clapping, <laughs> even though I was front row, so they would have seen it anyway but you know like you, you've got it you've got to give the energy um so yeah that was so good and they didn't do song of songs which i was really surprised about because they normally do but i guess today was like happy and fun and not we're gonna do a bit of a downer song in the middle um because while song of songs is glorious it's a bit of a downer like it's a bit sad so <laughs> yeah um and also this was technically their sixth anniversary show so the manager like bought a cake out in the middle and they did some like they got some signs and one of the signs which in my head in my little delulu brain um one of the signs was the lyrics to like are you gonna go my way and i was like that's for the uk crowd that's for me because <laughs> like why just have a little are you going my way random little sign to a korean show that was for the uk besties he knew he knew <laughs> i don't know who he is i'm the manager knew i don't know but that was real real fun and like they had some i'm not sure if fans made the signs like they had some little signs i'll put like the picture up that they took here but you can see me in the front row <laughs> ah! like they actually like came down like off the stage to like crouch in front of us and like yonsu was right in front of me and I know it's just like me being anxious and paranoid, but you know, obviously it's like, oh, don't touch idols ever, which obviously makes sense. But I take it to the like, oh, don't even like get anywhere like near them. Cause I'm, I'm just terrified of being shouted at. Even if it's like purely accidental, like 
oh I accidentally bump into you I can't stand it I feel like I'm gonna get screamed at by someone so I I like I don't I don't go near them I just it's their personal space and I don't want to get showered at and like if I was on their end I wouldn't want anyone coming near me like unless I initiated it so I, I like I keep back um but because they came right forward like, like they came like right in front so I, I was like get away <laughs> you know but like ob like obviously it was fine like no one it was just me being paranoid but it was so nice it was so so nice and like they sat down for part of it so we had some like upbeat but chiller songs and like obviously uh, my filming is shit i was like looking back at the footage so i'm not sure like how much will make it in but my filming is shit because obviously i was so close so i was my phone was like here i was just sort of holding it here and like half the time you can't it's like cut off like here and i feel like it cut to one and like yawns off over here and then john gill was all the way over there like in a corner so i could like every now and then i'd like flip my phone around but my filming was shit i'm not sure how much is gonna be in there and even then i'm not sure like how much of it you'll even like <laughs> like but I don't care it was so it was so good um and then afterward um like they all came out um i got a picture with yunsu um he was so sweet he like looked at me and was like long time no see long time no see and i was like long time no see bestie it's not actually been that long it was like june last year july last year but i was like he like looked at me and was like right in the face and was like long time no see and i was like long time no see um but then like hoan came out and like he was like He'd been stopped at like, there was like stairs and then he came out. He'd been like stopped at the top of the stairs by a few fans. So his manager like, was like, Ali, hurry up. Um, and I was like at the bottom. So I was like, I was so anxious. I just wanted to like ask if he'd read my book um, because I wrote an illustrated book and W24 are one of the reasons I actually got it finished because I went through a massive slump um, and then music, like a massive creative slump and then music helped me like out of it. Um, along with like a few other k-bands like i'm flying on lucy so like my whole thing was oh i'll give them a copy of my book um so i did that last tour like in a rush um so but i wanted to ask so i asked him and he was like and then that's the clip he read my book he read my book <laughs> and seemed to enjoy it i guess but oh. so yeah that sent me absolutely sent me um but it was so good it was so good i can't wait to do if i do you know i might just say fuck it and buy the tickets i might just say fuck it and buy the london tickets they're coming to london i might just do that i might just do it because it's like 100 for vip i might just do it like right now because i was gonna wait till i got back from seoul but i think i'm gonna do it. i think i'm gonna like do it right now because I love them so much. So that was it. If you, if you, obviously, like, I'm assuming you're an every if you're watching this, but like, if you're not an every, go check out W24. They're fucking great. They're great performers. Like, and they're just like great guys. They're super sweet, super lovely. So, um, but yeah, that is it. I am gonna like go chill now. I have my knee braces on because my knees hurt. Um, and if you want like the cafe i guess like i'll put like a couple clips in but if you want like a more in-depth cafe look at any of the cafes i went to please go check out my other vlog and um, that'll be linked somewhere i'm gonna probably post these around the same time i don't know if it's not out by now i'll come back and link it and whatever but that is it um go check out w24 they're fucking rad um yeah so that is it thank you so much for watching i hope you have a good day and i'll see you in the next one Bye.